This is, this is one of the most extraordinary years I think that any of us has come upon. There are years, if you look back in American history, that were pretty critical years. 1941, 1960 when Kennedy was elected, 63 when he was assassinated, 68, certainly 2001. I think in 20 years people look back on 2008 and understand that there was a fundamental change in the nature of how we ran this country. We are assaulted every day not just by the issues that we've talked about here tonight, and those are certainly urgent issues, but we're assaulted every day, I believe, by a weakening of the foundational argument of this democracy because of the incompetence of George W. Bush and his administration and because of the enablement of Frank Wolf. And I've never been in uh, this country in, in a time like this, and I have a sense from the thousands of phone calls that I've made and the, the, the many, many voters that I've talked to across the 10th district, from one corner to the other, from the plain to front row, that there's this, this sense of malaise, this sense of that we're adrift, that our moral underpinnings have somehow come loose. And I think that the American, and this is where we come back to authenticity and experience. I think the American people are desirous of someone who has public service as almost part of their genetic makeup, who they can trust and who they believe will will fight hard and they may not always agree with them on the issues but they understand where their heart is and they understand where their head is they trust their heart and they understand how they reason through and make decisions and they trust that they will come back to them the voters and say i think we need to do this what do you think and engage in that dialogue and create a coalition and a team of the dissonant and disparate voices around the table to one purpose progress and moving forward you have two choices in this election, in this primary election. In my judgment, the two choices are, you can choose the well-trodden path of the near and distant past. And we've been down that path before. And we can essentially do what we've done before. And in my opinion, we should expect a similar outcome. Or we can take the slightly riskier path that bends in the underbrush, that you can't quite see around the next turn, that has some unknowns involved. And we can make a commitment to say, I'm gonna go with this person because I understand his heart and I understand his brain. And we can climb up that path to the top of the hill and stand in the sunshine of what this country can and should be. I believe I can be the best congressman of the four of us running for this office. I know I will give every person in this district 110%, and I would be deeply honored to have your support on June 10th. Thank you.